Uru, akubungwe la World Vision Malawi, omwe na onso atandizire po gwila nchito yolimba nandi matenda amenewa. Ndipo tu pa ndalama zimenezi, ndalama zoko na 419,267,229 US dollars. Ndi za matenda uh, TB ndi HIV AIDS. Kumaso 84,442,883 US dollars. Ndi zotandi zila kumatenda a malungo. Ndi po boma ndilo mweli gulise nchito ndala mazimenezi kuzera kuunduna wa za umoyo. Pamene ndala mazoko na 21,436,233 ndi ndala ma US dollars zimenezi ndi ndala mazomwe zitandize kumatenda achifuwa chachikuru cha TB ndi matenda a HIV AIDS zomwe bungwe la World Vision Malawi li gulitze nchito zonsezi pofuna kulimba na kumansu kutana ndi matenda amene wa amene ama sautza kwa mbili pakati patu ndipo tu boma kuzera kunduna waza umoyo kumansu mabungwe usaya na siyana ngati la World Vision akugwina nchito zosia na siyana madera onse ndziku muno madera akumuzi mkakalensu madera antauni pofuna kutana ndi matenda amenewa ndipoto nsogoleri wa nsogolino akale akufika muno mu banquet hall ya kuno ku Kamuzu Palace ntawi na ili yonse mene mochitikile mambo mene ndipo akamafika timba lipenga laulemu ndipo akakala akafika pamalo pamene akale pakalenso nyimbo ya mtundu watu ndipo mambo mene u uyamba ndi pempero ndipo likata pempero pakale malonje kuchokera kwa amene akongolera zochitika pa mambo umene u ndipo akata malonje amene u pakale antuangapo amene ayankulepo munga wa emila kazimbi wa zikula amerika kuno kumalawi kumansu wa emila kazimbi wa zikula japani kuno kumalawi kazembe wa ziko la britain kuno kumalawi na onso ayankula kumansu kazembe wa ziko la norwe ndawi inoti mveli penga la ulemu
which is coming from Bishop Moffat Lee Chapa of uh, the Zion Church. Thank you, Your Excellency. Presenters, start with us and end with us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much for that opening prayer. That was uh, Bishop Moffat Lee Chapa of uh, the Zion Church. Your Excellency, Dr. Lazarus Makathi Chakwera, President of the Republic of Malawi. Honorable Assembly Sutual Abanda, MP, Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs. Honorable Halima Daudi, MP, Deputy Minister of Health. Ms. Colleen Zamba, Secretary to the President and Cabinet. Mr. Mark Alexander Edon Eddington, Head of Grant Management at the Global Fund. Professor Bichani Chereni. Secretary to Treasury and uh, Chairperson of the Malawi Global Fund Country Coordinating Mechanism. Mr. James Manyatera, Secretary for Health Administration. Your Excellency, Ms. Ingrid Mary Merkison, Ambassador of Norway to uh, and uh, here in Malawi and all members of the Diplomatic Corps. Dr. Chipo Kanjo, Board Chairperson of the National AIDS Commission. Dr. Luce Chapira, Board Chairperson of the World Vision Malawi. All senior government officials here present, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to you. And let me welcome you all here at uh, Kamozo Palace in Lilongwe for this very significant occasion that we have this morning, the launch of the Global Fund Grant Seco 7, a vital initiative dedicated to combating HIV, TB, and malaria, while also strengthening our healthy systems and sustainability. This launch, Your Excellency, marks a crucial step forward 
in our collective efforts to overcome these devastating diseases and build a healthier and more resilient Malawi. Today, we will witness the signing of the grant officially. And uh, here we are talking of over 525 million US dollars for the period of 1st July 2024 to 30th June 2027. Your Excellency, this is huge. This morning, we'll begin our program with goodwill messages. Your Excellency, the goodwill messages are coming from the donors who feed or who give into the basket. Now, today we only have four. We have America, Japan, Britain, and of course, Norway. But we also have Germany and other countries. These countries are not here with us, but we still recognize them. Now, to begin with the program, with the goodwill messages, is coming from uh, Miss Amy Diaz. She is the American Shoja de Affairs. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Malawi, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chikwera, Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Honorable Simplex Banda, Deputy Minister of Health, Honorable Halima Dowdy, our Secretary to the President and Cabinet, Ms. Colleen Zamba, and of course, all other senior government present. I'd like to acknowledge the head of grant management of the Global Fund, Mr. Mark Eddington, Mr. Ocean Jones, senior portfolio manager for the Global Fund, heads of missions and co cooperations present today, secretary to the treasury and chairperson of the Malawi Global Fund country coordinating mechanism, Professor Bachani Chereni, National Director for World Vision Malawi, Mr. Francis Dube, civil society representatives, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and with all protocols observed. Mone non se. I think we need to do that again. Mone non se. This is a happy day. And it is my deep honor to be present here with all of you for the launch of the Global Fund Grant Cycle 7 in Malawi. The United States is very proud to have been one of the founding donors to the Global Fund. When we made our first commitment to the Global Fund in 2002, Malawians had no access to HIV treatment in the public sector. Today, nearly one million Malawians are on life-saving antiviral treatment, and more importantly, Malawi's life expectancy has increased from 50 years in 2006 to almost 63 years today. I think that deserves a round of applause. This has been an incredible partnership with the government Malawi over the past 20 years. Through contributions to the Global Fund, the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, otherwise known as PEPFAR, and partnerships with other donors present and not present at the table, life for people living with HIV, TB, and malaria have now become filled with hope and productivity. The United States remains the largest donor to the Global Fund worldwide. During the seventh replenishment, the United States commitment of six billion US dollars accounts for nearly 40% of the 15.7 million pledged by donors worldwide. To complement the Global Fund, the US government also provides life-saving bilateral support to Malawi through PEPFAR. This year, I'm pleased to report that roughly 176 million from PEPFAR funds 24 million from the U.S. President's Malaria Initiative, or otherwise known as PMI, and 5 million from USAID's TB program. I mention this because it is imperative that we continue to work together all of the Grant Cycle 7 principal recipients so that we can maximize these funds during grant implementation to foster synergy 
prevent duplication of activities, and promote joint program monitoring to serve all Malawians. My team has shared many stories from oversight committee site visits with me where we see firsthand how adolescent girls and young boys gain life skills through trainings and support in Machinga, how we are bringing services closer to communities in Zamba and other districts to limit the distance that Malawians have to travel to healthcare facilities and how global funded supported technical assistance strengthens procurement systems for health commodities. Why my fellow Americans back home may not often hear these stories and get the opportunity to meet Malawians here, I know they share with every Malawian the desire to live long, full, and healthy lives. And more importantly, the expectation that all countries will work jointly to secure this aspiration for all people. The United States is committed to continue working with the Global Fund and other partners to sustain the remarkable, but remarkable yet fragile gains we have made and to accelerate progress towards ending HIV AIDS by 2030. This is well within our grasp. Malaria by 2030. This is also within our grasp. And the TB epidemic by 2035. However, as we acknowledge the extraordinary partnership with the government of Malawi and our wonderful successes in terms of combating HIV AIDS, we must also acknowledge new public health and climate related challenges that Malawi has experienced and that will infect public health in the years to come. The U.S. government will look to the government to continue to take ownership of the national response to these three diseases and to increase domestic financial resources for the broader health sector, particularly in the face of limited resources and the need for donors now to meet new and emerging global health threats. Mr. President, I'm very excited to share that Malawi has been chosen to host the 52nd Global Fund board meeting this November. This is a testament to your team. It is also a unique opportunity to showcase the impact of Malawi's partnership with the Global Fund. The U.S. government team and I look forward to continuing to engage with all partners, doing what we know works from the best available data, and doing so with a laser focus on direct service to the Malawian people, including but not limited to HIV, TB, and malaria, and building resilient health systems across Malawi. Zikomo Kwambiri. Thank you very much. We can do better on that. Thank you so much. That was the American Chargé d'Affaires, Ms. Amy Diaz. Continuing with the program, another message, goodwill message, is coming from the Japanese Chargé d'Affaires, Mr. Seiji Tashira. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Your Excellency, Dr. Lazarus Makosi Chakra, President of the Republic of Malawi, Honorable Simbres Chichura Banda, Minister of Finance, Honorable Harris Daudi, Deputy Minister of Health, Ms. Corin Zamba, Secretary, President of the Cabinet, Mr. Mark Denton, uh, Division Head of Grand Management, the Global Farm, and all cabinet ministers' presence, fellow member of the diplomatic corp, member of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I'm greatly honored to have your excellency on this auspicious occasion as Malawi is launching the Global Fund Grand Cycle 7. I sincerely commend the government of Malawi for successfully obtaining funding from the Global Fund for the joint HIV, TB, and malaria project. Your Excellency, the Global Fund plays an important role in 
defeating HIV, TB, and malaria in more than 100 of the hardest hit countries. Since the establishment of the Global Fund in 2002, this worldwide partnership has made remarkable progress. On the present note, more than 59 million lives have been saved from these three diseases in the countries supported. I acknowledge effort the government of Malawi is making in addressing these diseases. To complement your effort, the government of Japan pledged to the Global Fund to contribute up to 1.08 billion US dollars over the period of Grand Cycle 7. Additionally, the upcoming 52nd board meeting of the Global Fund will be held here in Malawi in November. Japan has served as a board member of the Global Fund since its establishment and it has contributed significantly to embodying the partnership approach to global health. Our board member, Deputy, Deputy General Dr. Imanishi, will also coming from Tokyo to Malawi in November, and he is very much looking forward to contributing to the discussion at the board meeting. Your Excellency, strengthening the health system is also set as a goal by the Global Fund, adding to the traditional countermeasures against HIV, TB, and malaria. The Tokyo International Conference on African Development, TCAD, ministerial meeting has just ended, and the joint communique also shows that the importance of strengthening health systems to achieve universal health coverage. Ensuring human dignity and human security, let's bring together all our joint efforts to take significant steps towards building a society where no one's health will be left behind. Jigomo Kranbiri. Zikomokwambiri, Mr. Sage Tashira, Ambassador, that's the Japanese Charge de Affairs. Thank you so much. Emphasizing on the need to put much effort to continue uh, helping countries out there, including Malawi, on issues to do with health for a more healthier and resilient country. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, another goodwill message is coming from uh, the British High Commissioner, who is Miss Olympia Wereko Brobe, a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of M Malawi, Dr. Lazarus Chishkwara, the Minister of Finance, Honorable Simplex Chitoila Banda, Honorable Deputy Minister of Health, Ms. Halima Dowd, Ms. Colleen Zamba, Secretary to the President and Cabinet, the Global Fund Division Head, Grant Management, Mr. Mark Eddington, all Ambassadors and Diplomatic Missions present, um, development partners, principal recipients, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored to witness the launch of the ceremony for the Global Fund Grant Cycle 7. Today is a special moment for Malawi because this grant will go a long way in saving lives and reducing deaths from HIV, TB and malaria. Let me start by recognizing the government of Malawi's leadership in driving the national response to these three deadly diseases and creating a strong enabling environment for sustainable partnerships. Without this strong leadership, these kind of global health initiatives cannot succeed. Secondly, as we sign the grant today, it's worth reflecting on the performance of the current grant under implementation. Impressive results have been delivered, including almost a million people here in Malawi being able to access the drugs they need with, when they're suffering from HIV or AIDS. The Global Fund is also playing a crucial role in wider health system delivery. This has been evident over the last few years with the event of the pandemic, cholera, and the tragic cyclones that have hit this country. Now is the right time to learn from this very difficult period in recent history so it can inform the next grant cycle.
This will include finding new ways to improve integration and sustainability. The UK is proud of our role as the third largest historical partner to this fund, with investments of over 4.55 billion to date. I believe these contributions are central to, to, to delivering, alongside many partners in this room, international development and global health priorities in the areas of ending preventable deaths, increasing universal health coverage, and strengthening global health systems to cope with increased challenges. I would like to close by thanking everyone in this room as we work in collaboration to deliver for the people of Malawi. Sikomo. Sikomo Kwambiri, the British High Commissioner, Ms. Olympia Wereko, Wereko Brobe. Thank you so much. And uh, lastly, we are having another goodwill message that is coming from Ms. Ingrid Marie Merkerson, who is the Norwegian ambassador to Malawi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Malawi, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera, Honorable Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Simplex Chetiola Banda, MP, Division Head for Grant Management of Global Fund, Mr. Mark Eldon Eddington. Honorable Deputy Minister of Health, Ms. Halima Daoud. The SPC, the ST, the Chief of Staff, and the PS for Health on Admin. Directors, colleagues, all protocols observed. Mulibuanji nonse. Your Excellency, I'm delighted to be back in the country after some weeks in Norway and what a great day to start the season. It is an honor to join you today as we celebrate the launch of the Global Fund Grant Cycle 7 here in Malawi. This occasion marks a significant step uh, forward in our shared mission to combat the devastating impacts of HIV, tuberlo tuberculosis and malaria and to build resilient health systems that can withstand future challenges. On behalf of the Government of Norway, I extend my deepest appreciation to the Government of Malawi, the Global Fund and all our partners for their unwavering efforts in this fight, as well as collaborating on pandemic preparedness and response. Global health is a key priority for Norway. We firmly believe that access to health care is not a privilege, but it is a fundamental human right. We also believe that the right to health care can only be achieved through a universal health coverage. This is why Norway has been a key supporter of the Global Fund since its inception. And this is why we pledged 190 million US dollars for the Global Fund's seventh replenishment, covering 2023 to 2027. Through our substantive and continued support to the Global Fund, we aim to ensure that countries and communities in need have the necessary resources to save lives and build resilient health systems. This is also what the Lusaka Agenda adopted at the Conference on Public Health in Africa last November. It is about strengthening health systems with a focus on integrated primary health care, increased domestic resources mobilization, and more aligned external support from development partners such as us. We would like to acknowledge the Global Fund's and international partners' commitment in this regard. Your Excellency. It is against this backdrop that I sit before you today with a great sense of honor and in deep appreciation. Malawi's progress in the fight against HIV, tuberculosis and malaria is highly commendable. 
The government's commitment to strengthening the health system, combined with the efforts of dedicated health workers and the support of local and international partners, has saved countless lives. The active engagement of the Ministry of Health at the global and regional level to help shape the Lusaka agenda is also highly appreciated. Norway is grateful for being a part of this global partnership and proud to be part of a success. However, despite our successes, we cannot be complacent. Challenges remain. There is a need to confront obstacles posed by laws, policies and practices limiting people's access to health services. And there is a need to ensure that knowledge and skills to understand and secure health-related human rights services are provided to communities that are affected by HIV, TB and malaria. And I would like to emphasize the importance of in providing information and knowledge about sexual reproductive health and rights also here in Malawi. We need to ensure that global health initiatives like the Global Fund and other global health actors are more efficient uh, and equitable in complementing domestic financing in order to strengthen health system capacities and deliver health impacts as part of a country-led priority setting process and trajectories towards universal health coverage. So please, Your Excellency, allow me to emphasize the importance of the new grants that are being launched today. They represent not only a continuation of financial support, but a deepening of our partnership. With these funds, I am, I am confident that the government of Malawi will continue to accelerate its fight against HIV, TB and malaria, while also strengthening its health system to better respond to future challenges and to provide a lasting and positive impact on the health and well-being of the people of Malawi. Your Excellency, Norway remains a dedicated partner and we will continue to stand by Malawi and the Global Fund in our common mission to end these epidemics and strengthen health systems for everyone. I would like to congratulate the government of Malawi and the Global Fund and all partners involved for reaching this milestone. Ziko Mukwambili. Zikomo Kwambiri, that was the uh, ambassador of Norway, Miss Ingrid Mary Mekerson. Thank you so much. Emphasizing more on the need to be together, the collaborations, the partnership that is there, this is really huge. Now, we say thank you so much for these goodwill messages. And we're, only, we're not only saying thank you to the four here, but even those who are not here with us. I think a big hand will do. We say thank you so much. We are so happy to have you and we are so proud to have you. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, we are continuing with the program. What we have now is the, now the moment that we have all been waiting for, the official grant signing ceremony. So what is going to happen, Your Excellency, is that I'll be calling up names. These names are the ones that are taking part on this uh, signing ceremony part. And uh, the protocol team will be guiding up there. To begin with, let me call Professor Bechani Cheleni. May you please take the stage up there. That's the government of Malawi, public sector on the Global Fund. We also have uh, Mr. James Manyatera. Mr. James Manyatera is the Principal Secretary for Administration in the Ministry of Health. May you please go up there. Let me also call Ms. Charity Nkona, who is the Civil Society Representative. And lastly, on this part, we have uh, Mr. Mark Ennington, Division Head Grant Management. 
the global fund. We are to witness the signing ceremony for the government partner, the signing ceremony, and uh, it will be followed by exchange of documents between Professor Bechan Cheleni and uh, Mr. Mark Eddington. Mambo umene ukuchitika kuno ku Kamuzu Palace unzinda wa lilongwe ukupitirira nditu mambo wo kazikitsa komanso kusainira ndalama za nkani nkani zoti zigwire nchito polimbana ndi matenda a uh, HIV komanso Chifuwa cha chikulu cha TB ndi matenda a malungo. Ndipo akazembe oimina maiko a Amerika, Japani, Britain, kumansu Norwe. Anayankula nditu kupereka mafuno abuino ku ziko la Malawi. Chifuwa chokala ndi mwai umene uti ugulitse nchito ndalama zimene zipufuna kukweza nchito za umoyo maka polimba na ndi matenda atatu amenewa ndi echo mwechi kuchitika pakali pano ndi joti itupano ndi ntawi yo saini la nguliza na umene u wa ndalama zimene zipakati pa bungwe la global fund ndi boma la malawi ndi po Amene ako saini la maloma boma la malawi ndi secretary to the treasury amene wandi a uh, pechani chereni kumanso pali mlembi ku nduna wa za umoyo a uh, james manyetera kusaina maloma boma la malawi kumanso pali mai charite mkona iwo wa kuimira mabungwe omwe sirabuma nziko mngono na onso akusainira ndipo amene akusainira mau mabungwe la global fund ndi a uh, mark eldon eddington omwe ndi mkulu uona za matandizo amene mapita kumaiko usiana siana kubungwe limene li la global fund ndetu Mene kusaini na kumene kukuchitika Antunse ya mene Afrika kumambu mene u Kwa nere randitu mwa chidui kwa mbili Nkani yo sangalata kuziko la malawi Manja mwake di mene mo Officially it is done Saini randitu ndipo tsopano hai kuhone ita kuti mguliza no mene uwateka kukina na chanza Bichani Chereni kumansu Mark Eldon Eddington kuti zimene zitopano zateka nde ilu linali gao loyamba lo saini la kina kapa bilenso gao la chuiri the second part is that I'm calling for the principal recipient for the now the community. Yeah, it's being represented by the World Vision Malawi. Let me call Mr. Francis Dube, who is the national director of World Vision, to please join the rest.
Aha, uh -huh. let the official signing begin. Ndiye amene aku saini rangu bili za nomine u kachiwili. Ndi omwe aja amene analipu boyamba panali abechani chereni. Ndi iwansu panakali pumwebo kumansu pafika a Francis Dube. Amen ending Kuru Abungwe La World Vision Kuno Kuru Malawi Kumanso Pali Jamai Charity Mkona Kimila Mabungwe Umwe Siaboma Gakalenso uh, Mark Eldon Eddington Kuchokira Kubungwe La Global Fund Depotu Abungwe La World Vision Ali Mungwezano Menemu Kuimila Hantu amene makala madera O siyana siyana Bungwe la World Vision Dilimozi mama bungwe amene Haku kuila nchito Madera o siyana siyana Nchiko mauno maka maka madera Haku mizi kutandi za panchito O siyana siyana Za chito kuko Ngatiza Kone sisa kutu hantu haku mama zabu ino Haku tetezeka haku matenda O siyana siyana Ama tandizira so kumatenda uh, Chifuwa cha chikuru cha TB Kumanso HIV Nga kalenso malungo Choncho na onso Akukuli sana onchito Ndala mazinezi Pufuna kutukula miawe ya malawi Pankani za umoyo Choncho sopano Amaliza kusainila Mkiliza nomene Ndipo programu ikubitidira Let's now have remarks. Remarks that are coming from Mr. Mark Edton Eddington, who is the head of Grant Management Unit, and thereafter our co-honorable Simplex Chichola Banda, who is the Minister of Finance, and uh, here in Malawi, who is also going to do the honors of inviting His Excellency the President to address us. But for now, let's have the head of the Grant Management Unit. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, the President, Honorable Minister of Finance, Honorable Deputy Minister of Health, representatives of the government of Malawi, representatives of the diplomatic corps and international organizations, representatives of national and international civil society in the private sector, uh, all protocols observed. As head of the Global Funds Grant Management Division, I'm honored to be returning to Malawi this is a country I first visited in 1989, so 35 years ago. Always great to be back, Your Excellency. Delighted to, to represent the organization at this official launch of a new three-year grant cycle. This is now the, the seventh funding cycle in the Global Funds Partnership uh, with the Republic of Malawi. So it's a partnership that stretches back uh, 20 years. And the Global Fund during this time has committed over $2.8 billion uh, to Malawi's fight against HIV, TB, and malaria, and to strengthening the national health system. Whilst we should not be complacent, um, this is a fight that the Republic of Malawi is winning. Um, and we, as the Global Fund, are proud to have been standing by its side, along with many other partners, um, over these past 21 years. The Republic of Malawi continues to be at the forefront of the ongoing fight to eradicate HIV, TB, and malaria, and is a major contributor towards the attainment of the international goals for each of these diseases. In the recent past, the progress made by Malawi has been remarkable. This has often been in the face of some significant obstacles, with the solutions found requiring determination, ingenuity, and innovation. Excellency, when we spoke earlier, oh, Excellency, when we spoke earlier, I said the progress had been great. I wasn't going to go into the details with you because I would do it now. Mm. 
Is that coming? That is coming back on. Okay. Um, so let me just summarize some of the achievements in Malawi. In terms of HIV, between 2016 and 2022, we saw an increase from 76% to 94% of over 1 million people living with HIV who know their status. Um, we saw an increase from 91 to 98 percent of people who know that they're living with HIV receiving ARV treatment, and from 91 to 93 percent of people who are on treatment to be virally su suppressed, which basically confirms the attainment of both epidemic control and the UNAIDS targets. And during that same period, new HIV infections decreased by 72 percent from 58,000 to 16,000 a year with HIV-related deaths decreasing by 67% from 41,000 to 12,000. Um, and I can, I can t tell your excellency, even 20 years ago visiting Malawi, seeing the coffin makers lined up along the roads, this, these kind of achievements would have been unthinkable then. So, so congratulations. <laughs> For TB, by 2022, 71% of the estimated 81,000 people identified as having TBs were receiving treatment, with 90% of new and relapsed cases uh, successfully treated. Again, major achievements, still some way to go, but, but major achievements nonetheless. For malaria, between 2017 and 2022, the absolute number of deaths decreased by 49%, um, down to 1,800. Um, and even though there were 4.2 million cases uh, recorded in 2022, this is still a 41% 41 reduction, 41 reduction over the 7.1 million cases recorded in 2020. That is a massive decrease in the disease burden, particularly when you take into account population growth. Um, and especially considering that malaria is the second leading cause of mortality in children under five years uh, in Malawi. Um, during the new grant cycle, uh, Excellency, with your permission, we'd like to build on that, um, working with um, Malawi. Malawi will be the seventh largest portfolio globally for the Global Fund, an allocation of over $525 million. Um, and with $405 million of that for HIV, that makes it the fourth highest allocation uh, after Zimbabwe, South Africa, and, and Mozambique. Um, and by the way, I would love to see those statistics for HIV in some of those other countries. Um, the Global Fund's investments over the next three years will help ensure over a million Malawians, including key and vulnerable population groups, will continue to receive uh, ARV medicines against HIV free of charge. We hope to get up to 75% of all TB cases being treated successfully without complications. Um, and almost 12 million new generation insecticide treated nets will be distributed across all districts uh, by the end of 2024. And that will help ensure that every person in Malawi is able to protect themselves from malaria by sleeping under a bed net. Um, all of these are critical um, at a time when the threats from other diseases and associated epidemics such as cholera uh, and mpox uh, persist. And we, we discussed some of that earlier. Given the significance of the potential results that will be achieved, I really want to acknowledge all the organizations and stakeholders uh, who are represented here today and who have in one way or another contributed to the development of these new grants. This effort has mobilized the government of Malawi, World Vision Malawi is a principal recipient of the grants, the Malawi Global Fund Country Coordination Mechanism, the National AIDS Commission, civil society and the private sector as well, of course, the international community, uh, including the governments of, uh, of the US, Germany, UK, UN organizations, international NGOs, and foundations. Um, this is an ex excellent example of alignment and what can be achieved when all parties are committed and pulling together uh, towards a common goal. The grants also pr include a provision of $50 million to support the strengthening of the national health system and under the leadership of the Ministry of Health, uh, the investments have been derived directly from the Health Sector Strategic Plan uh, number three and build upon the US dollars, the $130 million in COVID-19 response mechanism funding already committed uh, during the last period. 
So what will this funding do for health systems? They'll support the continuing strengthening of laboratory, oxygen, surveillance and community systems, human resources for health, supply chain and waste management facilities, and the construction of health posts and other facilities, including for enhanced case management, thereby helping to ensure the national health system is more accessible and better able to respond to the health needs of Malawians. Of course, the future sustainability of these investments relies to a large extent upon the government of the Republic of Malawi, ensuring the timely completion of the health system strengthening product projects and fulfilling the counterpart and co-financing commitments it has made when finalizing the grants for a total of $232 million um, a year. And we discussed that with the Honorable Minister for Finance as well um, earlier. And Excellency, we, can, we ask for your help in making sure um, that this materializes. For our part, the commitments the Global Fund have made under the new grants could not have been possible without the support of our donors, um, many of whom are represented here today. And we remain grateful for your continued commitment and trust um, in the Global Fund's mission at a time when there are many international challenges <laughs> and competition for, for funding is, is really tough. Um, I want to close by thanking you, Your Excellency, for having extended an invitation to the Global Fund for the Republic of Malawi to host our 52nd board meeting um, here in Lelongwe. Um, we've accepted this kind of invitation. Um, so all of our board constituencies will be meeting in Lelongwe between the 18th and 22nd of, of November. Um, the board meeting will be yet another chapter in our partnership and will be an opportunity to demonstrate to the board and all of the uh, people who will be here present um, the advances made in the fight against HIV, TB and malaria uh, and in strengthening Malawi's health systems. Um, and I, I, we, we normally do organize a number of um, project and site visits and I'm sure the board will be really interested to see the progress made, um, which as I've said before, um, has been remarkable. So on behalf of the Global, Global Fund's board leadership and senior management, I wish to thank you again um, for the invitation um, and confirm that we're all looking forward uh, to coming to Malawi uh, in November. Thank you. Sikomo um, Kwambiri. Sikomo Kwambiri, that was head of the Grants Management Unit, uh, Mr. Mark Edlund. Eddington. Thank you so much once again. Your Excellency, before I invite Honorable Minister of Finance to make his remarks, allow me to recognize the presence of European Union representatives. They are here with us. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. At, the, at this juncture, let me now invite Honorable Minister of Finance to give his remarks and thereafter he's also doing the honors of inviting you, Your Excellency, to address us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Dr. Azas Makathe Chakwira, the President of the Republic of Malawi, the Honorable Arima Daud, MP, Deputy Minister of Health, Mr. Mark Alexander Edon Eddington, head of grant management at the Global Fund and the entire Global Fund team here present. The SPC, Mrs. Colleen Zamba, Dr. Bechan Chelen, Secretary to Treasury, but also the chairperson of the Malawi Global Fund Country Coordinating Mechanism, Mr. James Manyetera, Secretary for Health Administration, our Excellency Ms. Ingrid Marie Mikeson, Norwegian Ambassador to Malawi and all members of Diplomatic Corps, Mr. Priest Kapondangaga, Chief of Staff, State Residences and all members of staff here present, Dr. Chipo Kanjo, Board Chairperson of the National AIDS Commission, Dr. Lucy Kajabira, Board Chairperson of the World Vision, all senior government officials here present, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, today is a big day, a day for us to celebrate. So unique that uh, Your Excellency, to celebrate this 
big day. You have extended your invitation to host us at the State House. Therefore, I'm not intending to make a long speech because my duty this morning, Your Excellency, is to invite you to address us on a very auspicious occasion when you, Your Excellency, are launching the joint TB, HIV, and malaria grants under the Grant Cycle 7 with funding from the Global Fund, as alluded to by Mr. Eddington, Your Excellency. The Global Fund is our long-time strategic partner. For information, Your Excellency, for over 20 years, the fund has committed over 2.6 billion US dollars in support of the Malawi National HIV, TB, Malaria Response Programs. Today, Your Excellency, we are yet witnessing another milestone when the Global Fund has approved grants amounting to over 525 million US dollars to contribute towards the national response to HIV, AIDS, TB, and malaria from 2024 to 2027 in this country. The increase or increased resources from the Global Fund under the Global or the Grant Cycle 7 are highly valued. Your Excellency, this reflects the Global Fund's confidence in your government's ability to deliver quality services for the prevention and treatment of HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria, and these resources will allow us to sustain the gains we have made in preventing new infections and also to sustain our achievements in the 95-95-95 goals. Your Excellency, your government is committed to fight against these three diseases, as demonstrated by government's increase in funding to HIV AIDS within the health sector. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, your government, through my ministry, is also committed to meeting its co-financing obligations under Grant Cycle 7, including the increased funding to health sector and for your information, Your Excellency, in the current budget that we are running, 2024-25 fiscal year, your government allocated 12.5%, which is towards the 15% Abuja declaration. And this, Your Excellency, made Malawi to be recognized in Kenya, but also invited to attend the Geneva functions this year. Your Excellency. The allocation in the national budget is an important demonstration that Malawi's government understands the importance of a robust and increased domestic financing for the national HIV, TB, and malaria responses, including building resilient and sustainable systems for health. The co-financing commitment, Your Excellency, has been agreed by the Global Fund, considers our country's overall microeconomic and the physical situation, and are based on a careful assessment of the level of domestic resource mobilization to enable sustainability, while also considering other health, social, and economic priorities of the country. Your Excellency, Malawi further commits to realizing additional total domestic financing requirements of $2,299,696 US dollars during the year 2024, 2026, or 2027 allocation. The importance of this grant, Your Excellency, the grants which is being launched today will strengthen the Malay government's effort to fight AIDS, TB, and malaria. Hence, these grants are very crucial to this government as the country aligns itself to the sustainable development goals towards eliminating HIV, TB, and malaria. I am very confident, Your Excellency, of the strides being made by the Minister of Health and all key partners towards these 2030 goals, and I am therefore highly indebted to the Global Fund for this support. Your Excellency, in conclusion, allow me to acknowledge the continued support from both our development partners and the Global Fund towards the fight against HIV, 
TB and malaria in Malawi. I would like also to commend the Global Fund for realizing that to control these diseases, we need a strong health workforce and systems such as the supply chain in place. I would like to take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to thank the Malawi Global Fund Coordinating Committee, which is headed by uh, Professor Chele and the entire team for the tireless work that they put towards realizing the grant that we are witnessing today. Once again, Your Excellency, let me also take this opportunity to thank the Grants Management Division of the Global Fund, headed by Mr. Mark Eddon Eddington, the Senior Fund Portfolio Manager, Mr. Ozias Jones, and the entire country team for working with us to ensure that the funding requests were of high quality and got approved by the Global Fund Board. As Mr. Eddington said, it was a competition, but we are happy that we made it. Your Excellency, it is also very good to note that in November, Malaya will be hosting the Global Fund Board meeting here. This is no mean achievement. It signifies the confidence and trust our partners have in your leadership. In the spirit of one Malawi, one people and one nation, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to invite His Excellency the State President of the Republic of Malawi, Dr. Azas McCarthy Jaguera, to address the gathering. Your Excellency, this is your time. Honorable Simplest Chichola MP, Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs, Honorable Halima Daud MP, Deputy Minister of Health, Ms. Colleen Zamba, Secretary of the President and Cabinet, Mr. Mark Alexander Eldon Eddington, Head of Grant Management at the Global Fund, and the entire Global Fund team here present. Dr. Bichan Chereni, Secretary to Treasury and Chairperson of the Malawi Global Fund Country Coordinating Mechanism. Her Excellency Ms. Ingrid Marie Mikkelsen, Norwegian Ambassador to Malawi and all members of the Diplomatic Corps. Mr. Prince Kabunagaga, Chief of Staff, State Residences and all members of staff here present. Dr. Chipo Kanjo, Board Chairperson of the National AIDS Commission, Ms. Charity Mkona, Civil Society Representative, Dr. Lucy Kajapira, Board Chairperson of the World Vision, Malawi. I might recognize the National Director, Mr. Francis Dewey. All senior government officials here present, <coughs> members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, It is with immense pride and a deep sense of responsibility that I am here before you today to officially launch the Global Fund Grant Cycle 7, GC7. This marks the beginning of a renewed commitment to fighting HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria diseases. These are diseases that have for so long plagued the people of Malawi and hindered our progress. The government of Malawi and the people thereof remain eternally grateful to all the Global Fund donors whose commitment to making the lives of Malawians healthier is unmatched. The Global Fund has been an invaluable pat uh, partner to Malawi since 2003, supporting our nation's development agenda by contributing tirelessly to our healthcare system and in the fight against these three diseases, but also coming to our rescue when 
the COVID pandemic hit us. I was glancing over there. I was privileged years ago to be uh, one of the first commissioners uh, when the National AIDS Control Program morphed into the National AIDS Commission. And Dr. Bizwick Mwale was at the head of the <laughs> Good to see you. So I stand very proud today as we launch this grant because when the Global Fund embarked on the seventh replenishment to lobby for the current cycle, I was appointed a champion. So this grant is a testament to the Global Fund's unwavering dedication to improving health outcomes, especially in high impact countries like Malawi. This grant will not only consolidate the gains we have made over the years, it will also strengthen and accelerate our national response to HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria. As we embark on this new phase of our partnership with the Global Fund, it is crucial to acknowledge the significant strides we've made thus far. Through previous grants, we have expanded access to essential health services, increased the availability of life-saving medications, and improved our healthcare infrastructure. With these grants, we have procured ambulances and utility vehicles, procured gas plants and modern hospital equipment such as city scans, and we have recruited thousands of health care workers. I'm therefore highly indebted to the Global Fund for this support. Even so, we acknowledge that there is still a lot of work to be done. Hence, this Grand Cycle 7 will enable us to build on these achievements and ensuring that our health care system is more resilient, efficient, and the services accessible to all Malawians. Our commitment to improving health care is unwavering. We will continue to invest in strengthening our health systems, continue to use innovative strategies and strengthen the supply chain management systems to ensure that quality assured medicines and commodities get to the last mile in a timely and efficient manner. We will also continue to promote community-based interventions, empowering individuals and communities, and strengthening the community systems holistically. We are fully aware that the path to achieving our health goals is not without challenges. However, we are resolute in our determination to overcome these obstacles and build a healthier, more prosperous future for all Malawians. Our government will continue to prioritize health as a key pillar of our national development agenda, recognizing that a healthy population is a foundation for sustainable development and economic growth. As we launch the Global Fund Grant Cycle 7, I call upon all stakeholders government agencies, development partners, civil society organizations, and the private sector to join us in this critical endeavor. Let me echo the remarks by the finance minister in commending all stakeholders who participated in the development of the Global Fund funding requests and made this possible. The journey which started January 2023 through national consultative and inclusive process has culminated into successful grants which brings us here today. So I congratulate you on this patriotism. <laughs> However, let me remind you that the best way to acknowledge these funds is through prudence in utilization of the grants and demonstration that we're using the grants 
purposefully. I trust that you will do just that. Once again, let me thank the head of the Grants Management Division of the Global Fund, Mr. Mark Eldon Eddington, and the entire Global Fund team for working with us to ensure that Malawi accesses these grants. And may the parliament of the Global Fund that meets in Malawi this year, <laughs> they represent all the stakeholders, but we are grateful that uh, they will be holding their board uh, meeting in this country this year, and you are most welcome. So with these uh, remarks, I now declare the Global Fund Cycle 7 for Malawi officially launched. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for that powerful speech there with an assurance to say the funds are going to be used to its intended purpose. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. This also marks the end of the program that was set this morning for the launch of the Global Fund Grant Stake 07, GC7. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for having time to have uh, this event this perfect. We thank you from our hearts to you. We say thank you. And to all of you, thank you so much once again for coming and for being such an amazing audience at this juncture, Excellency. Let me invite you to stand and lead us into our national anthem.
tamba nyimbo ya mtundu watu imeneo pamene mambo wa ukulu meneo umachitika kuno ku nyumba ya boma ku Kamuzu Palace mzinda wa Lilongwe mambo wo sainira komanso ku kazikitsa mgwirizano wa ndala mazankani nkani zomwe zitandize zikolino panchito za umoyo ndipo tu kwambiri kutandiza polimbana ndi HIV kachirombo komwe kamambitsa matenda a AIDS komanso matenda a chifuwa cha chikulu cha TB ngakalenso matenda a malungo ndipo tu bungwe la global fund ndi lomwe lapeleka tandizo la ndalama zimenezi ndalama zochuluka kubasi ndipo tu bungwe limene ili lakala likutandiza dziko lino kwa kanthawi nditu moti pali nchito zambiri zimene ngakhali pakali pano zili nkati zomwe zikulandira tandizo la ndalama kuchokera ku bungwe limene ili pali zipatala monga zimena kuzimanga maboma osiana siana akuzimanga madera akutali kwambiri malo oputa kufika koma ndi thandizo la bungo limene ili kumeneko boma likumanga zipatala nditu ngati kwa kachere mboma la deza ngakalenso mboma la palombe kunzimba maboma ambiri nditu kunchisi akumanga nditu zipatala zosiana siana zimenezi komanso kuthandiza zipangizo zokwitsa nchito poeza matenda komanso nzipatala ngati ngakhale ku school ya kachenjede ya kuhes kumene kwa napeleka ndi tumakina komanso kuchipatala cha nzuzu kumene kuli makina a oxygen ama kono atsopano mwazi na chabe mwa mathandizo amene bungwe limene ili likuthandiza dziko lino pa nchito za umoyo nde mene mwambo mene wo wapika kumapeto ifenso kulutsa kwathu ti rekezere pamene pa ndipo to ndi tokozanza ngonse umwe tagwira nchito limodzi malo mwai wawa ine Raymond kataika tsopano ndikubwezere niso kunyumba za tu zolutsira mau ku chichiri komanso ku kwacha mumzinda wa Blantaya zikomo